What's up, y'all? Welcome to a special little episode of Big Black Guy Reviews, a snippet, if you will. This is actually um, me doing a sort of a Devin Tries kind of episode. Basically, um, just something that, something food-wise that just caught my eye, as a little out of the norm, and just feel like giving it a shot and telling y'all what I think. You know, I've been holding on to this motherfucker since. Uh, actually about two days now, uh, these are Pringles Reuben flavor, Reuben, yeah, so, um, very much, Pringles has decided one day that, um, you know what these chips need, it needs to taste like a combination of Swiss, Thousand Island, Marble Rye, Sauerkraut, and some good old fashioned corned beef red meat. So, um, this is me, uh, giving it a shot. I actually really love Reuben sandwiches. Uh, I haven't really had one in a while. But, uh, as L- L- Lay's, at one point, they were doing, you know, their expanded flavors, and trials, and competitions. And one of the flavors was the Euro. And I remember I was actually really into the Euro chips for a minute there. Like, first time I had one, I was just like, this is so good. I need to go get a Euro right now. So I'm wondering what the chances are this might actually have somewhat of the similar effect on me. Um, nothing offensive yet. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I always loved uh, the the lids because you know they're made for like really good you know, cheap frisbees, you know. Fris- frisbees with a snack is how I always like to look at the Pringles cans. <laughs> no, 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 not really a particularly strong scent, you know, like, I've had some chips, like those, there was a steak flavor one that 7-Eleven used to do, and, um, it actually, like, the, the smell, the, it had a really strong meaty smell to it, this does not, yeah, it, not really. I'm having trouble singling out a specific smell, like, of what the ingredients are supposed to taste like. Bug it. Here we go. Let's double it up. Because I really wasn't getting a whole lot from that. Mm. Now that was a significant crunch. Mm. Mm. That was a crunch to be proud of. Personally, I'm not really getting much of a Reuben feel from this. I'm like, maybe there's some cheese. But I think there's like a tiny hint of Swiss. Like, I can kind of taste the Swiss. Alright. I'm quadrupling this bitch. I'm trying to breathe in and out while I chew Mm -hmm. as a means of trying to really catch the aroma in my nose and Mm. like it's not bad at all but the flavor is not really like that strong like or is that just me let me cleanse my palate real quick with some coconut water. Oh, sorry, the the, 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 uh, the agua de coco. All right. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Could get it this time, yo. You count that. Cause I'm not gonna. Hmm. 
Thousand Island or corned beef taste. Doesn't even really taste like sauerkraut. Like I feel it tastes a little more like Swiss cheese than anything else. But even then. Mm, maybe I got a bad batch or something. What? Got, got the short end of the seasoning stick, but it's not offensive. It just doesn't really feel like anything special either. Baby coconut water. Mm. Mm. Oh, wait. Okay. I gotta admit, I felt like I did get a little hint of sauerkraut in that bite. Swiss cheese with a hint of a hint of a hint of sauerkraut. Pringles. I, I was intrigued by this idea, but y'all need to step up your game. How about give us like, you know, like how they did a Cool Ranch and then they kicked it up to Cooler Ranch. Y'all should do like Pringles Rubiner. It's even Rubiner than the last one and just, just just amp up the flavors, you know, a little bit extra seasoning. Go, go a long way. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Feel free to check out uh, other videos that I got going on here. I'm still currently working on my Big Black Guy Reviews official debut, which is going to be my Loto Weapon 1 review. And I'm um, going to be dropping it here in the next several days, you know. Uh, I announced it for January, so definitely trying to knock it out by the 30th, 31st tops. So, yeah, life's a little weird right now, but, you know, I'm, work I'm working through it. Mm. And I'm looking forward to talking to y'all and seeing y'all in the next episode. And uh, till then, same Big Black channel, same Big Black CP time.